Battlefield 1 is an incredibly cinematic, atmospheric and immersive game. The developers did a very good job with creating that feeling. But I feel it's the small things, the attention to detail that they did with the maps that really created this effect. Many of the things I'm about to show you you will have never noticed during your many hours of game time. It's just you're so immersed in the game that you didn't know they were there. But they add to the whole cinematic feeling that you're really in a World War I game. Other things I just thought were very cool, so I've added those in also. Let's take a look. This first one here is in Neville Knights. I never noticed this before until I got the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. It probably was on the other base Xbox and PlayStation consoles, but because things were a little bit blurry, I never noticed it. But because things are so much clearer in the new generation consoles, it just popped out to me straight away. Have you ever noticed this before? The soldiers marching in the distance and then being taken out? I never did. Now this next one in Monte Grappa, everyone will have noticed, but have you actually taken the time to stop and take a look of this amazing view of the valley? It is absolutely spectacular. And I've added in a little feature here I thought was quite cool. Look what happens whenever someone's yelling or speaking when they're in and around this valley. It's this way! Come on, we need it here! That's pretty cool, how the voice echoes through the valley. I thought that was a really nice touch. Did you know on the pre a hair map that there's an actual air battle going on above your head while you're fighting in the streets? Just look how amazing this looks. The bullet tracers flying through the sky, the planes fighting each other, the spotlights, the searchlights going up into the sky, the fires going, the explosions in the background. It just adds to the whole feeling that you're in a World War I game and most people didn't even realise this was likely going on in the background. I love the attention to detail here from the developers. Absolutely amazing work. And it looks like something you could have set up on your TV or as a dynamic background. It looks amazing. Moving on to the rupture map here. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to explain it. Just watch this. Did anybody else know this was going on during gameplay? This huge gun shoots out a shell. You can see it moving across the sky and then it just explodes in the distance. Amazing. Did you know that when you're on the St Quentin Scar map, if you look across the distance, you can see the Amiens map. Those that are more familiar with the operation game mode probably know these two maps are linked. They are part of the same operation. I just thought it was a very nice and cool feature that they added in that you can see one map from another. Very nice. On the Cape Hills map, if you jump on a boat and head out to sea, you will come across a whole armada of ships. There are actually shooting shells onto the map that the players play on. Another nice feature I thought they added in to add to the whole feeling that you're in a battlefield game, that you're in a war, because you can hear the guns in the background, you can see the blasts from the shells coming out of the guns and you can then, if you turned around and looked towards the shoreline, you can then see the shells hit the shoreline also. On Giant Shadow, just like St Quentin Scar, if you look across the map into the distance, you can see something. On the Giant Shadow map, however, it isn't another map that's playable. It's a town whose name is appearing on screen now because I can't pronounce it, but if you look in the centre, it's the actual town hall within this small town. I love the attention to detail here. Again, most people will never have picked this up, will never have noticed it, so I hope you know it brings you a new appreciation to what DICE did with this game. Here once again we've got things going on in the background. This time I'm looking out past. It's very simple, it's just explosions going off. But if these weren't here, you would certainly notice and you would miss that whole immersion in the game. It adds to the effect that you're in a World War I battle. On Volga River you can see another Battlefield 1 map across the river. 
Any ideas which one it is? You can see much more details in this one because it's much closer than the previous ones. This landmark is the centerpiece of the map, surely you must know. What about these steps leading up into the map? Let's jump across. You can now see it much more clearly. There's the steps, there's the main building, it's the Ritzen. The final two clips are once again related to listening and sound within the game and some visual stuff. The visual you will certainly have noticed before, but the sound you may have missed. And the sound is important, it adds to that whole immersion within the game. This time we're in Suez, let's listen as we're standing beside the ship here. I just think it's very cool to add up the sounds where you can hear the hull moving, you can hear the metal cracking, you can hear just, it sounds like a ship is sinking, and I just think that's so cool. The final clip on Caporetto. Everyone's noticed this train here. It looks like it's just a stationary, broken down train. But let's listen. The train is actually on. You can hear it. You can hear the steam coming out of it. You can hear it's on. Again, it's very simple, but it just brings life to the map. Just like everything else we have witnessed here. The explosions going on, the things going on that you would never have noticed, it adds life to the map. And that is why Battlefield 1 was so cinematic. The developers could have simply put that tree in there, they could have put that gun in the map, and it did nothing. But the fact they've went that extra mile to add in additional sound, to add in additional animations, it really added to the whole experience. Most people wouldn't have recognised this, noticed these things, but it's what would have helped the game feel so much better to you. And I just wanted to make this video to whoever did this, whoever added these little things in, thank you very much for doing so. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you did so. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Lots more content coming. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe out there, folks.